Hello, this is Hussain Hurani, and today we'll continue our lessons in text mining, and we will talk about Twitter. Now, before we uh, give an example uh, about how to use Twitter, how to retrieve the tweets, there are uh, very important steps that you need to do to be able to connect to Twitter API. First, you need to have an account. Uh, you can you go to this website. Uh, I will leave it in the description of this video. And you need to uh, create uh, an account. And this account, initially, they will give it uh, as essential. But you need to upgrade to elevate it. So you need to go into all steps needed to upgrade uh, your account from essential to elevated. We are upgrading to elevated because you need to retrieve tweets accounts, uh, treat, uh, tweets uh, through uh, tweets APIs uh, version 2 or 3 or whatever version you have. So this is uh, the most critical thing that you need to have this account and at least it must be elevated. Uh, after you create your account and once it's elevated, you can go to the developer uh, portal and you can create a project. Once you create a project, you will get uh, two keys. Uh, we will use them in orange uh, data mining and tweets. So in tweets, once you double click on the tweet, uh, you can click the tweet uh, API key. You will uh, uh, get this window. In this window, you will uh, put the uh, key that you get from the project and the secret key that you also get from your project that you created. Uh, without doing this, you will not be able to retrieve and connect to uh, Twitter and retrieve tweets. So this is the step the step uh, before you uh, implement in Orange Data Mining that you need to do uh, to make sure that you will retrieve uh, tweets the way that you want. Now, let us give a simple example on um, how we're going to do this. In uh, Orange Data Mining, I will make it um, simple uh, for you and uh, very clear in orange data mining what we need to do um, we need to put this uh, tweet uh, you can get it from text mining uh, text mining this is the tweet okay and uh, as i said you click on the tweet uh, api key and you need to put the key and the secret this um, Two keys are very uh, important and they should be confidential. You should not share them with anybody. And uh, I put my own uh, keys, so I will not show you my own uh, keys because they are confidential. And in the query, I'm uh, search. I already searched for artificial intelligence, hashtag and artificial intelligence, and uh, search by content. And the language is English. And I gonna retrieve 500 tweets uh, from this search. And I click search. It worked and you can view the uh, tweets by going into Corpus Viewer. And in Corpus Viewer, as you can see, these are the 500 tweets. I retrieved the, uh, the 500 tweets based on the hashtag uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, and let's do some uh, some stuff on uh, this Corpus because now it's Corpus. So I can initially connect to uh, sentiment analysis first. So this is the sentiment analysis. So I'm going to just uh, disconnect uh, from the net uh, for a bit and uh, let's just uh, double click this and I'm going to use Vader. I'm going to use Vader for now and in Vader you can now uh, do the uh, done. The sentiment is done. You can view it by going into data, data table and in data table you can see uh, that you have four different fields. Uh, the, um, uh, positive and negative measurements, the neutral and the compound. So if we just sort out the uh, uh, positive, let's take the first tweet and let's see what the first tweet is all about. Uh, it's uh, artificial uh, intelligence emphasizes consistent talent. And this is uh, very uh, obvious. It's a positive uh, tweet. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, highest score in positive you can go even to negative you can click in the neg negative and you can see the highest in negative and you can also see that this is um, uh, negative as you can see it's a negative uh, uh, statement uh, and so on and so forth you can of course uh, from settlement as we discussed it you can go into multi-language multi-language uh, sent sentiment or you can for example use the uh, Leo HU, this is the Leo HU, you can double click and you will see that there is one field called sentiment. You can click on this one to uh, see the most negative, this is the worst, uh, and 
the most positive which is this one here so this is the difference between the different methods uh, that you can use in sentiment analysis so we done it uh, in this way you can also connect to heat map if you want this is the heat map and uh, from the heat map uh, you can see the clusters that has been created you can choose whatever cluster uh, you want and you can view it as corpus or as data, tab data table this is the corpus these are the uh, clustered um, uh, tweets based on the heat map and you can see maybe they are uh, uh, related to each other so this is the first thing and also you can do whatever you want like pre-process text if you want and you can apply whatever you want as in filters as in whatever uh, you uh, for example let's do the english stop words i will eliminate and i put also the stop words dot text apply this means that we, we're gonna remove the uh, that we're gonna remove the stop words and they're gonna connect to bag of words this is the bag of words and from bag of words you can connect for example to uh, whatever you want like word cloud word cloud if you want or you can this is the um, word cloud uh, these are the uh, state uh, the most frequent words appeared in the corpus and also you can uh, connect if you would like to um, extract uh, words if you wish so this is the extract words this is the tf idf per each word as you can see here so this is uh, and you can do of course uh, most of uh, the text mining operations because you have the tweets uh, you've done the search you have the corpus now and you can do whatever you want this is the lesson uh, for uh, today i hope that you enjoyed uh, dealing with um, orange data mining how to retrieve tweets etc and uh, we will also continue other lessons on text mining until then uh, enjoy uh, orange data mining and we'll see you there bye